Alright. Alright, is you live? Going in. Is you live, boy? Again. Boy, is you live? What fell on? What is that that fell up? Who would I want? Child, who would I waste some on the table? Look at the devil. The devil, we was having a good time. Who would I waste? That was my drink. I think something yeah. fell over here and knocked it down. That was my drink. Chi Chi, give me a towel without putting something on. Yes, baby, these are iPhones, huh? But this is an eight. I, now, this one I'm worried about. The eight. Are, <laughs> the eight. Are, the eight are, oh. Oopsie. 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 Okay, okay, let's get, you can get none of this. Okay, a little bit, a little bit. But listen, you know what I want you to do, Corey? Uh -huh. I want you to take that back, what you gave me today, and then run all the ones together. Like this one, that one, oh, that. Oh, oh. And then run a piece of them together. Okay, you, know, you know. You leave it, baby. But Corey's going to get just a little bit of this. Just a little bit. I'm going to get myself this Hi. I'm not leaving with them. Look, yo, you can't leave it. Listen, this, listen, Skeeters is so, who put this over there where it can dry. That's my, that's my notepad, honey. Got oh, all y'all social security number in it. Oh, <laughs> give me that. Here, move this too. Look, look what this child did. Do you, Ooh, I don't know if y'all, if y'all watched the show live, it was a bunch of crabs and shit. Adrian came over here and brought his DC uh, ass. Listen, let me tell y'all. I ain't eat all of them. She gave me this half full. I did I gave it to you completely full. No, and this no. all this the only crown leg I got left. No, it's two in there. Tokyo! Mind y'all fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, Tokyo done hell of that. She say shit. Baby, this is Skeeter's. Boiling pot. Boiling pot. Boiling's authentic boil seafood. Ladies and gentlemen, this podcast is sponsored by Skeeter's Boiling Pot. Yes. Authentic. Tell them in this thing, because they're they listen to it. New Orleans authentic bar seafood. Best flavor in the city, I promise you. The best the flavor in the city. Get your authentic ass away from my crab. Damn. Like that? I, I can't eat my crab and pizza. Ain't rolling. <laughs> Listen, this this all Adrian left me. Stop. It's one more right there. Was a little piece and a shrimp. And don't you eat it either, nigga. Yeah, that. And got two shrimp left in this bed. We sentenced him to Otis. You come on, Otis. Ooh. Otis. Nigga, you gonna be dead like that horse. You gonna be Look. sentenced to death by bucket. Uh, real man, quick, what's got to shook. Anybody want that real boy seafood? Follow us on Instagram, Skeeters BP, S K I T O R S B P. We follow back, DM us, we will pull up wherever you at. Wherever you at, we will bring New Orleans to you. Even though you got your crab. Phone number 404 514 4895. What it is? What it is? 404. 514-4895. Amen. Praise God. Give us boiling pot. We'll come to New York, New Jersey, Alaska. Anywhere I can drive, we'll be there. Alaska? You're driving to Alaska? <laughs> See, what seems what happened was, we'll find a way to get there. Listen, they say, will you come to Orlando? Orlando, anywhere. If we can drive there and you want us, we will come. Pull up, pull the pots out, ball right there in front of you. Call, put your number out there one more time. 404-514-4895. Skeeters BP on Instagram. www.skeetersballingpots.com, the website. We got you. All right. If you're a business owner and you want something done at your job, we'll pull up in your parking lot and ball right there for you. First of all, they ain't even a parking lot. They ain't been a parking lot. Not a Just give me any well with a hose pipe, I got you. Oh, okay. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for tuning in to the show earlier. Welcome to the after show. I am your girl, T.S. Madison, honey, and my girl came through all the way. It was a Noya type night. We have. Oh, they said, okay. Craig said y'all too loud. Craig said y'all too loud over there. Thank you, Corey. I ain't gonna hold you no more. Thank you. Craig said y'all too loud. We too loud on it because we recording this for the podcast. All right. Oh, shit. This little meat. Oh. Listen, God. I want y'all to give a round of applause for my judge tonight, Miss Tokyo Vanity Bear. <laughs> Tokyo came through, honey. We had a good time, honey. She gave me that know your love, that know your love, bitch. And we about to sit up here and take a couple of you a calls from you guys so that, ooh, girl, look at the devil trying to slide my, the devil trying, <laughs> the devil, he trying to slide in, but he will not have our place, thus saith he. He will not have our place. Let me turn that back up. He will not have our place. He will not. Bind him up. Oh, boy, boy, ta 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 ta
or we're going to send the devil to a, a, a death by bucking. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to open up the phone lines. We're going to let you fans come through and talk a little bit about the show. Tell Tokyo how much you love it and make sure that you are watching Love and Hip Hop each and every, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta each love and every. Love and Tokyo. Is Love and Tokyo. And tell me where to get your, your, your music at, sir. The link in my bio at Tokyo X Band. All right, bitch, you fucking this shit up. All right, Jamel, let's open up the line for the first caller. Oh, shit. Oh, three, three. It's the Queen Supreme Court battle for the bench with this honorable judge, Maddie, and special guest, Judge Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, caller. My name is Delira. I'm calling from Milwaukee. I am T.S. Madison Sister and Touch Your Vanity Girl. You did your motherfucking thing tonight, girl. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I just got one question. Why do they, why do, they do that? Can you walk that way? They killed him. Why can you walk that way? I'm hollering. That was, it, it had me going. I'm like, oh, my motherfucking God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Listen, I don't know if that woman survived, but baby, if Kanye was on there, he definitely ain't gonna survive, baby. Death by bucket. Death by bucket. That's our new death penalty. Yeah. Death by bucket. <laughs> so what? Is- Thank you, baby. What did you think about? Uh, what's her name? What's OJ daughter's name? Chloe. Uh, what did you think about Chloe? Allegedly. Oh, listen, we on the after show. Fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got some grew her ass. I'm like, fuck you, girl. You pull up that show and make up that daddy on you. It was just like that. <laughs> Maddie, you got some on your chest, please. <laughs> girl. I don't want nobody to fucking thing, girl. I just want to say y'all did the motherfucking thing tonight, and I am going to keep watching the Queen's Court, Maddie. You know you're not too girl. I'm going to keep supporting you. Thank you, baby. I love you, and thank you for tuning in. We had a good time tonight, child. It was all love here. This was a Noya night, baby. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, thank you, boo. All right, baby. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> All right, Yeah, but we had to go head on. We we couldn't find no other way to punish Kanye he except on with all that. he just had to leave by that horse. That's so. <laughs> <laughs> That's <a> <laughs> <laughs> but what really had me dead was the hot butter knife. <laughs> oh, yes. Because <laughs> that's what always looked like he got lined up with. Like you say he looked like he got lined up with a hot butter knife. Hot butter knife. But why do you think that? Butter knife. But what do you think it was about him doing that to Kanye? Is it about the money? Do you think? It means to Kevin. I mean, not Kanye. Yeah, to, Kevin. to Kevin. Excuse me, Lord. These prayers done got in my throat. You know, sometimes people just want to be in your position. <laughs> well, honestly, Mother, Mother Madison, I really do believe that, and I don't mind. It's the devil's workshop, money, and I think he was just bored. He ain't got a life. Well, I mean, he wants the money. Kevin Hart is like a really, he's a, he's a, he's a big star, you know? He's a superstar, and that's, that's just the price that's of, true. that's just the price of that when you become a superstar, girl. Like, all of those things tend to happen to you, honey, you know? Bitch have been, a, yeah, took, they'll find right. an old, they'll find an old sex tape, honey. They'll find you in a douche your ass out in the bathroom <laughs> and put that shit out and say, girl, honey, this child is a fleet but queen. But you know what? That's why when I went on Love and Pop and me being on the internet, I just, I be myself in anything. You can't out me. Everything about me is already out. So you don't think nobody yeah. gonna pull up no sex tape on you? I mean, what they gonna pull up? Which, which finger, what vibrator? They gonna mm-hmm. pull it up with what sex tape? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, I, I can't be outed. Okay, what's the question, babe? 
Okay, first of all, Miss Madison, let me just tell you that I'm a huge fan, and I just think you really are the hot shit. You always have been, always will be. I try, really child. I try. I'm fat, though, though but I try. Amazing. Thank and you, I baby. Be with you, so I just have to take that time to say that right now while Thank I you. on the line. Thank you, boo. And so, yes, ma'am. So my question was, Miss Tokyo Vanity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Congratulations on your spot. I'm loving hip-hop. I am so excited to tune in and see you there. Thank you. And my question for you is, have you heard of this rapper named um, Cupcake on YouTube? And I you love how you feel about her? Face. I like Cupcake, too. I like Cupcake. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> She said, my pussy wet, eat cream. Hey! Yeah. I smell like sardines. Hey! <laughs> hey. Come on. I like I like cupcake, yes. and when cupcake first came on the scene, um, I always used to have comments with people saying, "You and cupcake should do a song." I used to just be like, "I don't know how the content gonna add up, but okay, let's do it." Like, I love yes. cupcake. Tokyo, can I ask you a question while the call is on the line? What did my best friend do for you? What did it do? Like, did it did it change did it change something for you? Oh my God, yes. Um, if it wasn't for that's my best friend, I wouldn't even be sitting right here with you right now. <laughs> yes, you would, cause I, I no. yes, I've always loved you. Right, I wouldn't even been living in Atlanta to be you know sitting like. Girl, I was gonna come to the if you would have still still been at, at uh, Louisiana. I used to follow you and all that type of stuff, girl. I just thought that y'all were, you know what we I was a fan of you, of you you. And all of those folks from New Orleans on Vine, I just think that, you know, my introduction on Vine was a different way. Mine was coming to the door 22 years. I loved years. it. I loved it. And so many people was bashing me when that first came out. You know, we Vine stars. Yeah. yeah. And I used to see y'all, y'all. I used to always laugh at y'all. I used to see all y'all like a family. And I didn't feel like that I had that type of family from Vine because I felt like that I was on the outside. I was a trans- If you would have did me, I... I would have... But I thought y'all were such big people and wouldn't say nothing to me. Bitch, we weren't shit. Like, we was just living our best life. Me and Super used to ride around together in a red Corolla, <laughs> um, buying seafood with food stamps, uh-huh. all that. And, and I'm my partner, a whole millionaire. And I'm... It, Life is just crazy. Mm-hmm. But you know what's so sickening about that situation is that we all came from the same area, yeah. but we never knew that we were all end up being in some similar spot. Like, I ain't been on no love and hip-hop and stuff, but I done been all on TV yeah. and doing stuff like that, and I made a name for myself outside of, life, come on in, mm-hmm. and, and never life, thought that we were going to sit here. In life, everything is about timing. It wasn't mm-hmm. meant for us to meet back then. Probably not. It was meant for us to meet now. And eat crabs from Skeeter's yeah. Boiling Pie. Yeah. <laughs> and have I feel like you... Yeah. Come on in. Did you tell them how long we had? I had to keep recording and keep recording and keep recording. Yes, ma'am, because I don't play. <laughs> bitch, I don't care if it's a dirty video. Bitch, record. Get that shit right. <laughs> or you going to be frying fish in the morning, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I just feel like, like I said, everything is about time. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carla. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah that's my best friend did do a lot for me. It did. Especially musically, because it, it got me in a lot of places. It made Baby come fuck with me and, you know. Come like, on, Baby. Yeah, it made Busy manage me. I do music with, they'll tell you, I'm in the studio every night with the hottest rappers out right now. You know what I'm saying? So, it definitely put me in a great position musically because people can, they can say what they want. They can call you a one hit one. They can say whatever you want, but one is better than your none. I got two plaques. You got no plaques. So, right. Yeah. Right. Right. I All feel right, you on four, that. Four, Do you suck the body? Do you suck the body? Crab, no, you need it. It's seven, a lot. Let me look. You have to break the Supreme look. Court battle for the bench with dishonorable Judge Maddie and special guest Judge Tokyo hey, Vanity. Meeting, What's your name? Where you calling from? Me. And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call him. It was hey nice guys, this is Dee from Tulsa, Washington. Oklahoma. Hey, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hi. <laughs> yes, T Town and his out. <laughs> anyway, I'm just so happy to find you. I was so frustrated last week. I could not find you. I don't know why. I was just like, ah. everybody in the world was like looking for you. You know, even though you was on uh, Facebook. But anyway, this is kind of not on the ledger because I'm so happy to be talking to both of you guys. And I watched you last tonight, um, Tokyo, uh, Vanity on. Um, no. I only watch for you. I know you probably think I'm lying, but I'm not. I'm like, I'm interested in this chick right here. But um, I want to know what keeps y'all, like, I like to watch people that motivate me. I want to know what keeps y'all motivated because, Maddie, I have seen, like, your sex video, even 
Oh my oh, God! Next call, I'm speaking at LSU College. Right. So I am so inspired about how do y'all keep it going? Like how y'all keep going, girl? Because listen, what, what keeps you going? Well, for me, I can't speak for my sister over here, but for me, I feel like that every time somebody has told me no, I have to prove to myself that. I can make a yes out of anything, especially with when when God told me, honey, that uh, he, it all things are possible through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that strengthens me. <laughs> I, I believe that. You, I mean, hands off. I mean, you do, and I, I watch you with your mom. I watched you when you went for her birthday. I watch you on all these radio shows because when people intrigue me, inspire me, I watch what they do. I'm like, what is keeping her going? All the controversy. You kept fighting. I'm like, I probably, I don't know if I would have kept going, but you did. You did. It was class. So, well, girl, um, listen. Let me tell you something. I like that on the show. You like one of the realest people. You don't look fake. Everybody else looks so fake. And when you came on, I kept seeing little clips. I'm like, this chick real right here. She ain't, she ain't got, she ain't like scripted. She like real. And uh, what keeps you motivated? Okay, so what keeps me motivated is for years and years and years and years, the black fat woman has been either tucked away or either we are made as the fat friend, the yes man, the person who's going to beat everybody up for the little small person, or either they make us look like we a hater, like we hating on people because they're slim. So... In life, I felt like society and TV needed me because there's so many girls around the world who look just like me. It's the same. The people who watch the show and who supporting all these bitches, they have the same body dynamics as me. So I wanted to be the person who came on TV and showed them that, yeah, you fat, you can live your best life too. You don't have to be out here... You know what I'm saying? Doing degrading shit. Or you don't have to be out here being a bully and things like that. Like, you can live your best life just like the rest of these girls. You beautiful, too. You look good, too. You don't, you know, you don't have to walk in nobody's shadow or feel like you have to be violent, you know, when you... But you will whoop so, ass, though. Oh, for sure. Or, you know, you, try, you don't have to, you know, overly sexualize yourself for people to like you. Just but, be you. And but what if you? I think they intimidated you, by you. What if you over the sexual? I think they intimidated by you. I saw a Give lot of respect on the screen. Y'all coming on again. You get what I'm saying? I, I was like, they, they respecting this chick right here. I was like, I like that. But ladies, I ain't gonna take up your time. Keep impressing me. Keep impressing the world. Tell them hell no, cause y'all some bad bitches. And I thank like you, it. baby. Yeah. Thank you, and thank you for calling in. Thank, and thank, thank you for tuning in to the show. We gonna have Tokyo Bag Honey one of these good days. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah. Please do. Okay, thank you. Thank you, boo. Who this crap was All right, next caller. Caller 1100, the Queen's Supreme Court battle for the bench with this honorable Judge Maddie and special guest Judge Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's session? Go ahead, call. Yo, what's up, man? It's your white boy, Charles Chucky from Maryland. Hey, boo. Hey, oh, baby. Hi. Hey. Come on, Maryland. Hi, boo. What's, what's up, baby? Up? What's Listen, first of all, tonight was fucking phenomenal. Thank Second you, baby. Of all, I have to touch base on the beaten ass. I think that is the problem with society and kids and the shooting and all the shit that's going on nowadays because back then when we were kids, I mean, I'll be 32. When the light came on on the street pole, your ass was in the house. When your parents grounded you from going outside, that shit killed you. Nowadays, kids want to stay in the house. You know, they don't care about that. They got all that shit. So I'm all for beating ass. Yes. Did you see that? That 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 woman needed to help. That that little boy needs his behind. Well, Mama, where you at? Well, I don't want to cuss real hard. She, 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 she got Oh, mama, you said it. You, <laughs> mama, mama, I remember a time, Charles, my mama would look across the room and a child would turn to stone. And it wasn't even her baby. Yeah. Her child would Listen, turn I to stone. I remember when my mama used to look, she would just pick up the remote control and I knew to shut up. Yes, you better know it. So, I mean, if you, you don't beat... If you don't beat the child in the store, the police will come in there when he's a grown man and beat his ass outside. Well, there's a scripture that say a brain yeah. shame See, to you know, mom. my mom used to always say to me is when I used to say, you know, I'm going to call the cops, she said, I'm going to beat your ass 
why they coming, I'm gonna beat your ass while they here. Well, my mama told me exactly what My she mama did. was a firm believer in you get your ass told when you act up it. Yeah, that's definitely one of his miracles. Wherever you show out at, that's what I'm tearing you up at. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, my mama used to say that, yes, shade. she would beat you at the bus stop and like everything. She don't care. I will embarrass you in front of your friends. She says you will learn today. Today. You're going to get that ass told up today. today. But anyway, I just wanted to say I respect so much that the show was phenomenal tonight. And one thing that Tokyo said that I always hear Maddie say is that she never lets no ho block her because... You know, her blessing is hers, and that's why I've always said I respected you, and I've told you this a thousand yes, times. Yes, you have, baby. You always rise above the bullshit is because what's your blessing is your blessing. So fuck what everybody says and continue to do you guys. So I don't want to hold you up, but I'm glad that I got through, and uh, I can't wait for next week's show. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. I love you. you We're going to talk All soon. Right, you guys love you, man. Give, give Tokyo some love, honey, because she came through tonight. I love you, too, so Especially when she said you'll get popped. Pop. <laughs> oh, she said yeah. Okay. Pop. Who gon' pop listen, me, with, bitch? Who gon' pop her, me? With her friend, with listen, with her friend here with that purse tonight. Listen, that girl got popped. <laughs> <laughs> she got popped with that purse tonight. Listen, and I see. Look, I see her jump up like she was doing it. She was about it too. Beat the shit out of the security. <laughs> and indeed, you so did. Listen, indeed, you did. And if them security guards wasn't there, you'd have got it way more in. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so much, baby. And uh, we will talk All soon. Right, I love you. you. Love you guys. See you, Maddie. Thank you. All right, baby. Come right. on, that's rolling me in, honey. Rolling me in an auto box. Roll them out. Call <laughs> 8701. You're live with the Queen Supreme Court with Judge Maddie and Judge Tokyo Tony. What's your name? Where you calling from? Tokyo and what's Tony. the judge? Tokyo, no. Tokyo Vanity. Tokyo Vanity. Tokyo Vanity, not Tony. I'm 23. Hello. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hello. Hey, baby. Oh, man, you know what it is, girl. Joe, this Kiki from Jones, but I'm Georgia. I love my Kiki. Don't you say, Kiki, what's up, babe? You know, you, you, you know I love you, Maddie, all day, so I wanted to start off by saying, Tokyo, girl, <laughs> you know, I love you. I love, I, I, I discovered Tupa, and then I discovered you, you know, saying your song from the vine, like, that's the hardest song. That song is I like, like you too. never go, oh, I'm going to always have my best friend, and I'm in the club, nigga, that's my best friend. <laughs> and I love that song, and it's going to be the same song for the rest of my night. Come on, come on, Thesa. So I just want to say that, listen, I mean, you're amazing on the show. Um, as far as just, you know, everything that you represent as a, a advocate, beautiful woman, um, you just represent so many young girls out there that's like, hey, I'm, you know, we, we coming from a place where we've had nothing, where our moms or our dads had to go out there and bust their tail and do what they had to do, no income base, but you show people in the world that it don't matter where you come from, a pine box, you can make it to a mansion, baby. It's all about what you set forth for yourself and your goals. And then you already know how to respect you, uh, like, beyond reason than, you know, just with my goals that I, that I share with you many a times on the show, yes. how people have came to me, how that opened up a lot of things for me. Um, I just respect you in the way of how you bounce back. You know, I don't really want to dig deep in that because, you know, that's really touching to my soul. Right, you know, right. Both of you women. But I can say the way you handled that situation was the utmost, most queenish, queen bee persona that could ever have been written in the book of women to women bullshit. You know Thank you, saying? baby. And, and all that. Like, when I said you, you stood strong, you ain't back down. And at the end of the day, God seen you through that. I'm still Both going through, through it. That. I'm still going you through it. Your lane. That, that, I'm still going through it, but you know, listen. I wish everybody the best, cause like like Tokyo said, it's the same. It's the same part of my philosophy. What God got for me is mine. Yep, we all got the same. But you know, baby, you going through blessings, boo. 
Blessings come with ups and downs. You're going through blessings. You ain't going through nothing hard, boo. You're going through blessings and more blessings. And when I see a woman, and, and this is what I want to do for my blogging, my entertainment, like right in that lane, everything that you and Vanity are doing is what I see myself doing every day. The love that I get from people, the natural charisma that I give out to the world, I got so much to give. You know, I'm at a roadblock right now because I got so many ideas, but I really want to take some time whenever you get some downtime and you have time to reach out to your fans on a level where helping them pursue their goals for like advisory and just like what steps they can take. I would really love to be one of those people on the list. Okay, all right. But never. Okay, good. Well, just it, you know how we talk. Me and you talk, so we'll talk. We'll talk about that after all this type of stuff here. We'll talk about I, that. I love you guys. The show was phenomenal, Benny. I love you. I love you um, too. I just got off work, so I wasn't able to see love you, but girl, you know I got my DVR on record, <laughs> and I will be seeing you. I catch up and get back and tell you what I thought about the show. Okay. All right, baby. Okay. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Talk to you next week. Thank you, boo. Okay. I love her. That's my baby. All right, call us 2380. It's the Queen Supreme Court battle for the bench with this honorable Judge Maddie and special guest Judge Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where are you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call. Good morning, Miss Maddie, and good morning, Miss Tokyo. Hey, Hello, baby. Michael hey, Michael Underwood. Oh, listen, have you and all, uh, listen, Michael, I'm going to need you and, Le and Leandria. To get that thing together. When y'all have you got your son yet? <laughs> you know we broke that story to the internet that you are you are Leandria Johnson's real husband. Mm. You I just wanted to give you a call and thank you for everything you've done and to help me uh, get that situation to where the situation is at right now. And uh, God always puts good people in the right place at the right time and so what's the update on that? Give me an update. Tell me what's going on with Leandria Johnson, honey. Season's uh, a Sunday's best winner, honey. Tell me, you her husband. What had happened? Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, our court date is on the 23rd. After your show, two days after your show, her uh, lawyer, uh, entertainment lawyer, he uh, was my lawyer. So, her, uh, yeah, yeah. And then when her little, uh, what you call that, dude, her, her, uh, Assistant. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, after he did all that, you know, that's when it all really came to life. So. But I thank you, thank you, Gio, Mr. Gio, and uh, tell your brother I said what's up, uh, Miss 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 Madison, and uh, thank you for everything you've done. All right, baby, I love you, and we'll talk soon, child. I love you, love you, love you. you. Know, yeah, you got to be for us too, because I got. Well, I'll wait there after you done. I'll wait there after you done settle that. I, I, I got some stuff we can talk about. That. All right. Okay. All right, boo. Tokyo, you tear I'll that up. I'll give you a call. I'll give you a call. We we'll talk. Okay. Okay, boo. Hey, hey, Miss. Tokyo. What? Oh, you hear that? Tokyo, they trying to figure out what you... Oh, tell okay. them that's, that's a plate Miss Mary cooked. Y'all have All to right. understand, okay? I live a very fast life, okay? Oh. Wait a minute, Jamea. I live a very fast life. I eat out every single day. I appreciate home-cooked meals. I miss my mama. She right. live so many hours away. So all y'all can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and my mama had cooked that, though. Mama, you cook that. Miss Mary cooked this. Ms. And Mary I'll fight any one of y'all that got anything to say about Miss Mary cooking because she did her best. It's good. Miss <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mary. Miss Mary. It's good. Yeah. Why she yeah. did her best? Oh, Lord. Yes, and it's good. And it's good. Yeah, because yeah. you tear it up because that's not your first <laughs> plate, girl. It's my second plate. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was little because I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. But the second was big because you enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. All right. You know what I'm saying? I'm good with the right. Everybody had three and four plates. So it's all everybody did yeah. have three yeah. and four yeah. plates. Yeah. And I'm about to get another now plate. Now you get you another plate? Yes. Now, Craig, can you please fix me some of that salad over there? And I better not be on the next. I better not be on the next show with your next co-host because I know you live and I woke oh, up and meet your co-host up and they pay anything. How the hell they gonna send you somewhere? I'm gonna be here eating motherfucking too, bitch. We've all been here eating, child. Shit, did you get? Did you get a plate too? You know, mommy made me eat six plates. 
And you ate this, you ate. And he came over and, 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 and he finished and out. Let me tell y'all something. Seafood not filling. Man, sure not. It. Why you leave these potatoes him. here? Tell them Tokyo. You can have the potatoes. Bro, that stuff got too high. Seafood's an mm-hmm. apple. It's good, baby. Oh, thank you, Craig. Craig, if you wasn't gay, <laughs> oh, I would love you. That's a straight thing. <laughs> Who was straight man? Mm, he got them pink shorts on. Oh! Wait, 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 what? Uh uh-uh, uh, don't do I'm don't do friends. Oh, you ain't got the pink shorts on. Well, she was you with have your a pink shorts. <laughs> What's up with the pink shorts? All right, well, who was the next caller? Next caller! I do. I, I said, what y'all eating? Tell them what y'all eating. Food. Oh, you ain't even eating straight, man. You ain't even eating straight. Come on, let's kill it. Come on, come on. 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 What's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, Carla. Carla, what's tea? What's the tea? Go ahead, Carla. Hey, hey, Maddie. Hey, Tokyo. Hi, What's up, girl? How y'all doing? Child, we get fat. This is is the Oh, hey, I'm with that. I'm with that. Getting fat as dope. Yo, I was uh, digging the show tonight. Like, it was really, like, she, she's a great co-host. Y'all are perfect there. Right? Yeah. Uh, speaking of, yeah, y'all were real good together. Thank you, baby. Speaking of uh, Kanye West, like, I honestly think dude is, like, bipolar. And the donkey move you made, that shit was so funny. He had me rolling on Man, the floor. Man, that death. I think he's still battling the loss of his mom. Yeah, I, I do. I, I I keep saying this over and over that, the, but him losing his mom is the reason why he's 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 in the he's in that place that he is. Let me tell you something. And you know that those those Kardashians will keep a black man in a sunken place. But let me tell you something. He battling Calabasas. My mama has had open heart surgery two times. In the last three years, my mama had an emergency brain surgery. My mama had me at forty years old. My mama is sixty three now. So. I don't know what it feel like to lose your mom, but I know what it feel like to almost lose mm-hmm. a mama. And bitch, I'm not the same person mm-hmm. that I was right. from almost losing a mama. So with him losing his mama, you know, and it's no excuse because he's be doing some cool shit. But you too. know, you know, he lost his mama unexpectedly. He was, he was trying mm-hmm. to do a good gesture. Mm-hmm. You know, she wanted to get her body done or whatever mm-hmm. it was, and he was making the money. So he like, I'm gonna bless my mama and let her get her body that. done. So he's harboring a whole different type of guilt because he feel like if I would have never paid for this shit, my mama would still be here. Right, yeah, I know that. Like, I know but, that's why he clicked out like that. But his wife is fake. But I don't even think he would have married her. If his mom was still here, I don't even know he would have married her. Yes, but Luther's crew is prior to that, too. I think this is to a whole other level. I have always said that I thought that Kanye was a genius. He's definitely a genius. I've always felt that. And, and, and people that are geniuses are crazy. Naturally right. crazy. That's a mm-hmm. natural part of them. They're crazy. I, know. I miss old Kanye. Graduation Kanye. Just what? bring him back. When it all falls down. Bring back. You got to pee. But no, I said just bring him back. Because listen, you know, I always said I never could trust a man who make a, a song like Jesus Walk and then double back with a song like No Man Should Have All That Power. So, so the same man, he should have all that power when he saved your life. Mm-hmm. But... I don't know, man. Whatever. But I'm we would you. It's, it's that well, listen, we already horse. mourning Kanye because that horse took him out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Did. That sentence that, that we got. Death by bucket took Kanye out. Did. I mean. Uh, all right, well, thanks, ladies, for letting me come on. Uh, keep up the dope work, Maddie, in Tokyo. Big shout out to Jamel as well. Thank Have you, baby. Day. You too, baby. You too. Jamel, let's take two more calls. I got to let these folks go. This motherfucker. All right. Call, uh, no, I don't even need to talk about that. Two, one, three, nine. You're on live with the Supreme Court battle for the bench. This is Honorable Judge Maddie. And special guest, Judge Tokyo Kennedy. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's pleasure? Go ahead, call him. Hello. Hey, Honorable Judge Maddie. 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 Hey, Honorable no, I'm just with the cornrow. Oh! Cornrow Becky. Oh, that's cornrow Becky, so that means you're really Cleo where's at she, night. Where's she from? <laughs> that means you will set it off. <laughs> oh, my God, she was <laughs> um, I was calling to say I really want to commend Tokyo on the whole thing with being vocal about her virginity. 
Oh. Because I do have a 23 year old daughter who's also a virgin, Jeez. and this showed her that it's not a bad thing. I mean, and I just want to thank her I, for that. It puzzles me that it even can even be considered a bad thing. Like you know, I'm not anybody who I don't I don't judge people. Anybody who know me know I'm one of the most free hearted, open people. I don't care what you are, who you are, what you're doing, and who you're doing it with. So it really puzzles me because most of the women that I see talk down on me are women who you can look at them and tell like they have self-esteem issues. It's always a girl who I go on her Instagram page and she on her ass naked telling me that. You know what I'm saying? Or like a right, girl. But I just, as a mother, I just want to thank you and just say I really, really applaud you for this. And it, it doesn't have, it's not a bad thing. And as my daughter says, she, she's not necessarily waiting for marriage, but she's not ready. Right. Well, I'm ready to go back to being a virgin. Can I unfuck these <laughs> niggas? <laughs> <laughs> and I also you know wanted what? to ask, do you oh, think this is really going to be she did. a poor situation as far as Nikki and Cardi? I hope so. I hope so. I hope that Nikki, like, little sisters her and, like, take her under her wing. I hope so too because I, I, I both of them are just wonderful. Yeah, this industry is vicious. So as many, uh, if you could build an alliance, build it. So I, I hope that is what happened. I hope they get past it and both prosper and do beautiful things in the industry together or not together, but just not beefing. I just and don't think it's. Throat. I just don't think it's beef. I think the industry put pit you against each other. Oh, most definitely. I just yeah. think it's that. Exactly. I don't exactly. They make exactly. it out where you and have to do I think it's that. a lot of people in the, the audience that are watching them online are egging a lot of these things going on. In the arena stuff. Yeah. But Cardi even said she has sat down with Nikki and it's been shade. Like, I don't know, man. I, I'm like, I'm they in my business. I don't give a fuck. Like, Mama, this cake good. Right. <laughs> 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 my question, yeah. and this is... Cleo out. <laughs> All right, baby. All right, baby. I love you. One more call and then we go. Yeah. All right, last call. Call the 4318. The Queen Supreme Court battle for the bench with this honorable judge Maddie. And special guest of this is Tokyo Vanity. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's judgment? Go ahead, Carla. What's up? What's up? Am I live? Is you live, whore? Whore, is you live? Am I live? Yeah. Live, you yes, live. you live. You are live, whore. <laughs> you are live. <laughs> Cortez, what's up, baby? Cortez, what's up? What's going on, bitch? Cortez, listen, I want to... Watching again. All right, bitch, you was in the closet. Cortez, you ain't got no business in the closet. You the you the most openliest gay man I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Cortez, I want to say this to you. I, I want to say this to you, and I want this to resonate in your spirit, okay? After you oh, back it up, you stop. And then you what, 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 what? Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Come on, we're going to do it one more time, Tokyo. After you back it up, then stop. You what, 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 what? Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Drop it like it's motherfucking hot. That's, that's yeah. right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yes. What's up, all? How y'all doing? What's up, Jermaine? Y'all, hey, everybody. Yeah. Oh, Tokyo, bitch. I just love you, bitch. I just love you. I watch you every Monday. Every Monday, bitch. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, baby, I love you. You real, but you ain't, you ain't going. You ain't going. You ain't going. I ain't going for none of that shit. She said, who gonna pop me, bitch? Who gonna pop me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what do you think? I know, I know this wasn't on the docket, but uh, what is Mama D trying to do? Mama D. Mm. Uh, next call. You know, uh, Mama D, we got a long call. We think Oh, that, both that yellow. Oh, mm. oh Cortez, see. Baby, I don't know. Cortez. I don't know. Cortez. Y'all been here. Y'all haven't heard that song. She got a remix of both that yellow. Yeah, she, she do. Mama D was she. I, Mama D. Mama D came and she put that old school. She put that old school pimp funk on it. Mama D came to put that old school pimp funk on it. Mama D. 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 Mama D.
You know where I'm at. You know where I be. <laughs> Mama D. <laughs> Mama D. You know where I'm at. You know where I be. Mama D. I'm gonna need, need Mama D. I don't know why she waited till she got a hundred years old to get her hands up. Thank God somebody's saying what everybody else is thinking. Here lies the body of Tokyo Vanity. <laughs> Come on, Lemonade. 2018. She leaves behind five siblings and a loving mother. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I'm back, Lord. It's the third day out of Rose. <laughs> no, you Jeez. did not say. That lady did not get her <laughs> ass done. Uh, I'm about to get a call. Look at you. She asked Madison. She asked Madison, go look it up. Go look it up. She did. She got a bottle of it. She had it there. She had a whole bottle of it. She did. She said it on the show. She said it on the show. Did she macaroni with it? Did she macaroni with it? Not too quick, I ain't ready. I like one of them quarter, some quarter, um, some quarter chicken legs. Take me out. Take me to the king. What is a quarter chicken? Off of, like, dog meat. Yeah, she looking like a quarter. She looking like one of them quarter chicken legs, baby. Take me to the king. Don't do Mama D like that. Mama D is talented. Anyway. Anybody that grown that could take a new age song like that, take a millennial song and put some stank on it. Child, it was really stanky. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they say Tokyo is not involved. Oh, um, yes, I am. No, they talk about some of the Mama D conversation. Oh, uh uh. Mm -hmm. Girl, I, I, girl. I, I can't talk about my co workers. Did one. That song. This, this, I want to do. Um, oh, do Cardi B know? Well, no. I think if Cardi if Cardi seen it, Cardi would have reposted it. She loves shit like that. She probably seen right. it. Don't listen, don't Cardi. Don't see everything. No. Mm -hmm. Don't don't <clears throat> don't do that. Mama D put the bars on it. She put the Mama D <clears throat> bars on it. You know what? Man. Okay. 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 No, you was not paying enough. No. Not in the background, no <laughs> Y'all know I ain't really here for Mama D. No, not in the background. What y'all? What y'all think about Carly? I mean, not Carly. What y'all think about Kanye with? Y'all think he gone crazy? Kill a buck. Kanye, he gone now. We had his funeral now. We did. We watched him go on that horse. We had the repass right now. But the rest one turned that shit around. Like. We watched him go on that horse, good. That horse he took him out. He had bucket. died by bucket. Died by bucket. He died by bucket. Listen, I don't want... I, listen, I want to say this, Cortez. I want to ask you this because I know you will. What did you think about us sentencing... Sentencing... Um, uh, Tokyo Tony... <laughs> Uh, to a reality show and give and each one of us took a collection plate and got a hundred dollars. It was a nurse home. No, we no. That's look him house ain't a nurse home. Y'all seen the Tokyo Tokyo the where now? We sent his her sent to a uh, reality show, but we all took up an offering in the room to get five dollars. It's twenty it was twenty of us and then we took five dollars which made a hundred dollars. Right. <laughs> And uh, we, they, she gonna go ahead on and get uh, uh, Lil Kim's house for a hundred dollars. For a hundred dollars, and they gonna go ahead on and stop filming her show in there. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. Know, we need to put one hundred and three dollars. Girl, what, what is going on, y'all? What is going on with this house? A hundred dollars, Lord have mercy. Kim got that. They just trying to make that shit look bad. Look, Kim got this well, opening. It was bed. the opening yeah, bid. Like the that was really bad. But. That is the new house. That's the current house. Uh, that she, lives. Uh, she don't live in that house. Let me get this out my damn shoe. Mm -hmm. First of all, first of all, let me tell y'all something. Y'all ain't gonna just keep talking about Kim. I said my auntie ain't want the house no more. That what I felt. You. I do feel that. I feel like she don't want the house she don't no, want more. It no more. I buy four hundred dollars. My girl wants to move some money from fun. She don't want that house no more. I don't give a damn if I don't want no house no more. I'm not going to sell my house for no hundred. 
dollars. But she not selling it. The bank is starting it at starting the bidding at a hundred dollars. But trust, they're not gonna take no hundred dollars. No, it's a three million dollar house. She can't She don't want that. I just gotta say, she don't. Want, I don't. She don't want the house. I'm with you on that. Yeah, you, 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 you think it's, uh, it's a hundred house or something? It's hundred. It's hundred. It got gold in it or something. It, it, it got the. It got. It got the. Biggie? It it ain't got big in there because she would definitely gave him a hundred dollars to keep it if it had big in there. All right, next, next. Look. <laughs> and one last thing I want to ask you, I, we we was really looking at Chloe. That was that was OJ daughter. Yeah, we was looking at Chloe OJ. Simpson. We was looking at Chloe Chloe Simpson's booty, mm -hmm. and we thought that it was uh Diaper. It was diaperish and a, uh, Tokyo said it was a sandbag. It was giving me huggies. Girl, girl. That's a weird for food right there. She said a wisdom I tooth booty. Wisdom, wisdom tooth booty. Can you tell me what a wisdom that tooth is? Like that bitch made up like a wisdom tooth. Big at the top and little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. A wisdom tooth. Yes. Big as hell at the top and little. I bind it up. Impact. I bind it up. <laughs> All right, Cortez. That's one, that's, one of, that's, that's one of them, them, them bodies you just got to pray for. Lord, we prayed that I had that I had to leave. Cortez, <laughs> listen, I love you. I got to get these people out here. They got to get it. Got a long way to go. I love you so much. And listen, I'm going to hit you up oh one of these days. I'm going to you you know, hit you up one you of these days. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna okay. hit you up one of these days so that you come over here. I, I'm so scared to put you on the bench next to me, child. You gonna have the host standing outside, gonna burn my house down. Worse than Kaya. <laughs> Worse than Kaya, motherfucking ass, child. You know I'm scared. She has not. No, she has not. But you. You know, I'm just real. I'm an A-Reed. I'm, 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 I'm a keeping real. That's all. Yeah. I'm an A-Reed. That's all. You know, people hate the truth, though. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. People hate the truth. People hate the truth. Because... All right. I love you, Cortez. We'll talk soon. All right, baby. All right. All right. Love you all. I love you, too. Thank you, baby. All right, Jamel. Thank you for, thank you for taking the call tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this show was sponsored by Skeeter's Boiling Pot. I want you to thank my guest, Tokyo Vanity, for coming through. Ladies, give, give Tokyo a round of applause again. We had a good show, and she will be back. Tokyo, tell them you will be back. If she has me back, I'm, I'll, gonna I'm definitely going to have you back. And listen, please tell them where to get your music from that we listen to on the show. You can get my album, Konnichiwa, on my page. It's on um, Apple Music, Google Play, Spotify, everything. Um, at Tokyo X Vanity on Instagram. Link in my bio. All right. Go, best friend. That's, That's my, my best, best friend. friend. You better uh, not get killed by Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. We love you, and we will see you next week. All right, boo. Good night. Bye. What did you watch, your son? Love it. <laughs>